right time for your check of your weather now. And it's been really kind of gloomy throughout the day, but mm -hmm. the sun's trying to poke through here and there, huh, Keith? Yeah, and it depends where you are. Like, a lot of the state today was sunny, but it's kind of hard to imagine. This is what's wild about, yeah. but like, our weather in general. We're also saying that, like, maybe our ratings will be higher today because Instagram and Facebook are, are down. Mm, still? Maybe. Maybe. They maybe. are still down. That's I keep trying to click. <laughs> that's what Lucas says. He, he said the other day, like, is Santa coming? I said, no, that's for, not for a while. He goes, but maybe, maybe today. You didn't say you, no. You keep trying it, Zach. You're like, you want to. I Just instinctively. Which one? Instagram. Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, both yeah. of them. Yeah. You're that's right, though. We, I think we could be OK if they didn't come back. 100%. Yeah. They don't advertise with us, right? <laughs> Not no, anymore. So. Yeah. <laughs> for once, for once, it won't be me up on the fourth floor. That's all I can say. So look at the visible satellite with clouds over western and southwestern Maine. But spatially, look how much of the state was pretty much sunny the entire day today, especially as you got into Lewiston and points north of there. Bunch of rain down there south, so it's been a, a really soggy day in Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. And some of this, you can just see the way it's moving, will slide in to the uh, Portland area and to just a little bit north in the next couple of hours and overnight tonight. So uh, the models have drawn Wiscasset as kind of the northernmost line for showers, and I think that's about right. You know, could a sprinkle break off towards Augusta? Yeah, but I think uh, it's unlikely. Most of the rain stays south of Wiscasset, and it's not all that heavy. Light rain at worst overnight tonight. Heaviest stuff will be south of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And by tomorrow morning, we wake up and we've got another split state forecast where Bangor North is sunny. South of that has some clouds, but even those clouds start to thin out through the middle of the day. I think a lot of us end up with a nice day tomorrow. Temperatures in the mid 60s in the afternoon and a lot of sunshine. And again, um, in the northern part of the state, it's nice basically all day. Now we all start to get on the kind of the same page tomorrow night. Temperatures drop into the 40s and we've got a really nice day on Wednesday and we stop with the split state forecasting. It's the whole state looks good. Temperatures upper 60s to low 70s by Wednesday afternoon will be really, really nice. And uh, as far as the rainfall goes, again, you know, this is just really minor stuff. It shows you it cuts off really Portland and uh, points southward. So high pressure builds in. That is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, which look great. The weekend looks dry, but we get backdoor cold fronted, which means that we do cool down for the weekend back into the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Overall, I like the pattern going forward, though. We stay on a ridge side of things, which is where you want to be this time of the year. Ridge in July, yeah, it can be nasty. Ridge this time of year, bring it on. So um, again, I like the weekend. Unfortunately, we can't quite hold the mild weather. It is cooler, but it's like appropriately cool. We've talked about Columbus Day being kind of the official end of summer for me at least, but we could be around 70 on the day itself. So this is a good, for this time of the year, this is a good stretch of weather. Need we forget that like on Halloween sometimes we have snow. So right. yeah, right. We're, doing, we're doing well. Okay. All right. All right, thanks Keith.